Well, I decided that I'd just go ahead and load my kiln after this last blaze firing. And I wanted to show you some of the things that I had been working on. That uh, blaze firing that, um, that I had uh, uploaded last um, with some of the older things that I had left on the shelf and decided that I would, um, I would glaze them. So, anyway, from watching Simon Leach do his tankard mugs and then looking at Janice the Potters, I decided that I wanted to try it. So I have, let's see... Probably about six or seven of them here. It's going to go in this build, uh, best load here. I have some more salsa servers. Here's one with the rope handle. Hopefully, those will get through the best fire okay. The last time I tried to best fire one of these, I broke the handle. So I have um, two of these here, and um, underneath the shelf is. Um, a few more bowls and here's a bowl here here's a bowl here that I was trying to do a little decorating on the side I actually stamped it I'm trying to get some pretty texture and let's see I'm going to take you over here if I don't get you sick here's a little bowl I was playing with right here and it's been up here for a while it's bone dry for sure it's got hearts on the sides I don't know what colors I'll do this yet can't seem to get a, a red to work out too good there's another salsa server here with just a um, regular ribbon handle another pot with some chattering And I've got a, um, a little covered box, a little trinket cover. And also a few cups that I they dried before I could get the handles on them. This is made from the um, red brown. I got another one of these. Um, I got a um, container here that I made. It's a small one, enclosed one. The lid here. I actually like that one. I had someone else tell me that they liked it pretty good. I'm going to move these other things down here on the shelf so I can show you. I started making these little. Um, I don't know what you even want to call them. I, I said, well, there's several things you could do with these. You could make a flower pot out of this. Or you could bundle them with something like, um, let's just say, um, for a salon, someone who works at a salon, you could put a, a pair of scissors in there, um, a comb, um, a pair of tweezers, you know, stuff like that. Um, let's see. Here's another one here. Turn it upside, right side up. Um, another thing you do is, um, you could give this to a secret sister who is a quilter. And you could put, um, a fat quarter in there. And you could put... Some needles in there, maybe a spool of thread, um, a tape measure, um, a seam ripper, a small pair of scissors. Okay, you get the you get the idea. So, you know, if I was to bundle that, it would cost a good bit of money. So I'm just kind of just giving the idea here. Well, here's another one. Almost looks like a vase, anyway. I was really having a lot of fun with the chattering. So,
here's another one. The, all of them look different. And the chattern, if you look, the chattern definitely looks different as well. I'm probably getting a glare off the light over there. You can see that. And one more here. And I'm running out of room. I um I came home. Um or I brought the I brought the um the wheel back home to the shop where the kiln is. So this is where I'm working now and I work like all night long uh, and sleep during the daytime because it's just too hot for me to throw during the day. So it's like probably seven o'clock in the morning right now. And I'm do I have a whole lot of space in here? I'll show you the um I'll show you the shop sometime um, once I get it all cleaned up. I have some stuff I need to move out so I don't have a whole lot of space up, like I said. And I'm going to take you over here if I don't make you sick and show you these mugs that I'm working on. This is that red brown clay and I've got seven of these I'm getting ready to put in the kiln because already they're getting dry enough that the leaves are wanting to come off like that one back there and I don't want that to happen so I'm going to leave the imprint in it um, in the kiln and then this morning I decided that I was going to throw a few different things this one here is going to be a sponge holder for the sink it's probably about three and a half inches by, I would say about five inches wide. And then, here's a vase that I threw. I'm going to start throwing more vases. I need practice, definitely. Here's another one. Here's another sponge holder. I know they all look different. And then this is going to be a yarn bowl. I'm going to be practicing those. Another yarn bowl. Here's another one of the sponge keepers. And another yarn bowl. So I've been pretty busy, or uh, trying to keep busy, getting ready to load up that kiln and get going again so I can get some more glaze work done. So we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.